I'd like to cut these bolts shorter and this one I've marked with paint to indicate where I want to cut it and I want to use the nut as a guide for cutting. The nut being on there is actually my first step in thread repair. This is the rack for this project and this is the pinion so the pinion drives the rack so I'd like to do some test fitting see how this goes apparently I shortened one too many bolts I'm using four pieces like this as spacers these are temporary So I suppose I don't need the duct tape anymore. Well, it looks like I'll have to move this plate back so it'll take a bit of fitting and adjusting here but I hope to get this pinion shaft in there so the pinion shaft is in the bearing plates are not tight right now see the bolts and right now the pinion shaft is helping to hold up these two plates so they don't fall over so what happens if I lay the rack in there These holes are also laser cut, and I'd like to put some effort into trying to remove high spots. So one is, I think, visible in the camera right there. And also, I think these openings are too small, but not by much. So here's a piece of DOM tubing. It does not quite fit in there. So I think even with the high spots removed, I think I would still have to remove a few thousandths of an inch from that opening overall to get this piece of DOM tubing in there. So both sides have now been enlarged.
So here's the general idea of what's happening with these two openings. So right now I've got a piece of short DOM tubing in each one. So and then here's this piece. To fit between there. And on this piece, would be welded something like this. So this is also a laser cut part. So imagine an axle going through here with a bearing on this side and a bearing on this side. And this end welded to that piece of DOM tubing that goes in there. And then with a rod that goes through all three pieces. So that would allow this piece to pivot in there like that. And the bearings, the bearings that go on here would roll on that, the top of that rack. You know, so when it's turned backwards like that, then the pressure is released off the rack. And when it's turned down, then the rollers, those bearings that come and they, they press that rack down towards the, the, the the pinion gear, actually it would be over there, more like in that area, with bearings on it. So that's a general idea of what's going on there. Anyways guys, thanks for checking out another video.